This is my beautiful plywood ramp. Loose kid unit. Factory effects. Shower. Um, AFAM. Jake. Don't have to do Oops. every single And snap on racing. Snap. Whatever it is. Continue. <laughs> Okay, just run for you, you through some of the details on how to build these things. Plywood. Something you need. Obviously. Bendy plywood, thick plywood. Underneath. Some 2 b fours. Treated pine wood, I'm pretty sure this is. Um, we've just put what I call skeletons or ribs or whatever. Down through here. Um, a good tip is to put a crossbar through here, just in case this snaps. This will be the main one that'll snap. It's in the middle of the ramp. Yeah, and just in case this snaps, um, you can see where it's all gotten dirty underneath and all that rubbish. Um, you may be wondering why it's like a bit darker than normal plywood. That's because we put gel coat over it, and that'll just protect it from the rain and stuff. And you know, see how it's a bit wet now because we're having crappy rainy weather and all that. So like right, so our stick looks. It also wrecks the stickers a bit as you can see on the Monster Energy one. Upset face. When you drill the holes with these screws, it also seals the screws in really good so they'll never come out again. It also helps from the transition from the ground. It makes it a lot smoother. So you don't go over the bars, but... Yeah. I doubt you will, but you know. Um, on scooter. Down to the sort of part that not many people do, we drilled holes in here so you know you can pick it up a bit easier and that. And you know underneath we put the gel coat down this and this and all through there you know because that's the part that touches the water. The most. It's not real heavy, our most needed thing was to keep it light you know. We put the holes in so you could pick it up easier. You know, you usually use two people to pick it up, but you can pick it up by yourself. Um, it's not the lippiest thing, but it's not the best thing to flat land either. You'll be crunchy afterwards. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. Hope to be building another one a bit bigger next time, probably this tall and like a bit wider to make it like sort of a trail you can jump, dirt trails. Even though it's wood. Um, yeah, it's pretty solid. Drop test. Nah, not <laughs> doing that. That'd be stupid. Um, now onto the, pla the crappy plastic ramps. I paid $50 for some plastic ramps and look what happened to them. Holes. Holes everywhere. Big crack down $50 here. $50 per plastic ramp. This is what happens when you do the tiniest little case. Big crack appears. $50 per plastic ramp, for God's sakes. Look, more holes. We put some rubbish wood in and still. What about this one over here? How's this it? one has my own custom lip that I put on it. It's still a piece of crap. Look. And that wasn't even from a scooter. Or a bike or nothing. That was just from standing on it. Do you want to know how much I paid per rim? Fifty dollars per rim, even the tabletop here. Do you want to know how much it costed to build that plywood ramp? Thirty-five dollars. It costed thirty-five dollars for screws, plywood, gel coat, everything. Treated pine. And it comes out beautiful. That's ridiculous. So don't get plastic ramps, build wooden ones like this instead. And if you're not experienced with wooden ones, then do something about good it. Good luck to you. <laughs> in your case or something. Go over the bars, punch a hole in it. Alright, that's good. I don't know.